Generic greetings! Owing to a series of unfortunate events, mainly down to being rubbish at Thief Simulator, we are now in prison. Luckily though, because of budget cuts, we have to build that prison, so let's do just that. What we're going to do is go to create new prison. We need to select all of our options, which are going to be male prison, standard warden I think. We're going to go for a medium style map with fog of war, forests, uh, don't want lakes, but we do not want buildings either. Fairly conditioned, yes, gangs. Yeah, go on, we'll have gangs, we'll have events, we're not going to have weather and temperature, staff needs will Will be implemented. Escape plans? Um, yes, why not? No unlimited funding or any tools and mutators. We will have all off because quite frankly it's... Um, <laughs> we have tried previously on other series to um, get those working and it was um, interesting and we will click play. So if you are familiar with this building series when it comes to prison architect you know that we generally plan everything off in the first episode and then build it on the second and is this a medium prison? This looks a lot bigger than a medium prison. It is uh, 120. Okay, maybe that is the right size, but anyway, whatever. It doesn't really matter, but as I said, um, if you're familiar with the way this works, we normally plan it off in the first episode and then build it in the subsequent ones. That is going to be changing. We are definitely planning it off in this episode. However, one, two, three, four, we're not going to be necessarily planning all of it off now and certainly we won't be building everything in one go. What I want to do is have a prison in a prison. Now, you might think, well, that sounds stupid. What do you mean? Well, what I mean is we're going to have multiple prisons inside this one facility. So we will have probably three large blocks in some various sizes, uh, something like that, which will house a different inmates. So we'll have, say, uh, low, medium, high, or whatever combination of. And unlike previously, where maybe we've sectioned them off and allowed them to um, mingle, we're not going to be doing that at all. Each of these blocks will contain the majority not, all, not everything, but the majority of everything that is needed for the... Um, uh, for those prisoners to be sustained. So we'll have, say, cells all the way along sort of here. We will have a kitchen and canteen. We will have an area for relaxation. We'll have a yard. And then we'll have, like, security and other things all in one block. That All in one big section like that. Uh, obviously, we'll have to have things like parole and we'll have to have, like, the stores. But what we'll do is we'll allow that at a certain point of the day. So, you, I know there's going to be the keyboard worries there. Da, 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 da. Uh, what do we do? Why don't you just use scheduling? Well, yes, we will be using scheduling and we will be using assignments, but the idea is to have everything sectioned off as much as possible. I have no idea if this is going to work. This is just an idea that I came up with. <laughs> because I wanted to play some more of this because we haven't played Prison Arctic in quite a long time. So I thought, let's just give it a go. The question is, A, what sort of prisoners do we want? And B, how many can we have? Now, because we're on a medium-sized map, we could get away with doing probably two areas, so low and medium, and then we'll extend north and then do the high one there. Now, I'm not making all of these identical. We're going to have to tailor them for the type of prisoners that, that will be coming in. But what I'm going to do first is go right to the bottom and work out where our entranceway is going to be because we need an entranceway. We also need garbage and deliveries and things like that in this section. So whatever goes on the left here will probably be quite different. So let's just crack on with that. So we want to have, um, this is our entrance, so we'll have a double entrance here. We're going to cut this bit up because this is going to be probably our area for the yard. It's not for, sorry, not for the yard, for the uh, garbage and deliveries. What I'll do is I'll go over to the rooms and type in uh, garbage and deliveries. Uh, you can have it as like a, um, do you want garbage there or deliveries? deliveries. I actually want them the other way around. I think I want them the other way around. Um, just, there was a there was a thing previously where you had to have a certain gap and stuff and we're just, we're not going to use that. Uh, we couldn't even have a double door there. If we have um, instead deliveries, deliveries come along there like so, cut that up and then we can just have in essence a staff door on this location here. So this will be where the prisoners go. So they'll be, they'll come here and then they'll uh, work their way into here. This will be our reception area, like so. Although what will probably happen is they'll be delivered there and then they'll get brought through here because that's just the way the game works, isn't it? So let's 
instead redo all of that, to be quite honest with you. Let's go down to there. We'll put garbage... Oh, we haven't got exports either. Exports can go on the other side. That isn't too much of a problem. In fact, what I'm going to do before anything else is go over to report to our intake. We're going to close that intake right off. We'll go for grants, basic detention centre and administration centre. We'll unpause that and then we'll go to our um, materials and... Oh, no, sorry. Objects, is it? Objects, yes. And we're going to dismantle all of these trees because these trees give us a lot of money, which is why you put the trees on and it looks better than just the random bare earth. This is just a quick one pass just to get rid of most of these horrible trees. I say horrible, they're quite nice, but uh, they're just in our way, so let's... Uh Let's go full on Fern Gully on this one and just absolutely tear down the forest. And there we go. Right, let's just put loads of concrete in and call it Imperial Guard Made. Okay, so uh, what we need to do is... Have a sip of a nice cup of tea, lovely beverage. And we'll work on our garbage and deliveries. So garbage will go down here so it doesn't need to be too large so probably uh, that is probably too large we'll have it as size 8 uh, no actually maybe 10 because we don't know how big this prison's going to be and then deliveries we will have up there so it'll be tent there that's fine and then obviously we want to wall that off and then this comes down to here although we probably want that because this is going to be one building in some way but we'll see how it goes. So we need a reception. The reception will go um, quite nicely here. So there is our reception. One, two, three. Um, one, two, three, like that. Not going to plan off everything to, you know, meticulous detail because it's just not necessary. But uh, we do need to get the basics down. So in this area here, this is going to be the staff area. So we'll have things like the staff room, the... Um, staff kitchen and canteen and all of the offices and the security that's what's going to be in this block uh, and then everything else will uh, obviously be altered so we'll have this as our entrance way we'll have a security area here which is quite handy because we can then get access to this here this one will be um, well we could have as many things but i think if we just make this is the armory this is uh, the dogs and such that means that you know they're all protected this way Although generally you put all three in a row, so maybe we do it that way instead. So have like the security armory or security dogs. Kennel kennels could be here. Uh, kennels can't be in there. It is too small, but kennels could be in here. But maybe a little bit larger was uh, probably best. That could be our security room. This could be storage. That would make much more sense as storage. So we'll have storage. We'll have our office uh, reception we'll have the security in here we'll have kennels next to that which we could have a total of 16 kennels in there that's totally fine and that's all right and then we can this is going to be the armory so we'll have lockers table it's not very large but it doesn't need to be and um, if we really wanted to we could have it so you have to snake around like that but i don't think we will i don't think we will we'll just put an entrance there entrance there and then entrance there and there we go so I will uh, roughly put the doors on. Um, what we haven't got, however, is double doors, which is a bit of a shame, so I might just do that. It'll shrink these down, but I really don't care too much. So our objects will be there, there, there's your two doors, and then doors top and bottom, and then we'll have entrances there, and there, and there, and then something like that, and then, you know, we've got pretty much everything we need in that order. So... We now need to put the officers in, uh, but we need to think about where the prisoners are going to be escorted. So I would say... Once they've come through here, we need an area for them to go. Probably, the best way of doing it is to send them up here and around and out there. That'll be the exit. And then it means that a pathway like this can run all the way along and then they have access to this side. We were going to have a double pathway anyway around that, even though we've got... Even though we've got good spacing with the gap of four, and the reason it's four is that we can happily fit in on each corner a watchtower. And obviously we will um, figure out the centre and uh, probably put somewhere like along here as we progress on as well. Not that I think we'll need it, but we'll see. We'll see. You never know. Plan for the worst. Expect the best. So, we will now work on the offices, which are a size of four. So, one, two, three, four. So that is our office size. There we go. And we need several of those. So we will expand this along. And we'll say one, two, three. And 
we could quite happily, if we wanted to, do that. Four, five, six. Now the difference... Well, the problem here is, though, if, if we do that, it means that we are... It means that we are assuming that all of the staff are going to be in here. Whereas when we have certain certain programs running, as in the as in the psychology stuff, the psychologist needs to be in an area that is accessible to prisoners, whereas this is certainly not. So we might place an office here for now for the psychologist, and then we'll have separate psychologists in each area, assuming we go for a decentralised infirmary, but I don't know if we're going to do that. Okay, so then we need a couple of other rooms. We need a staff room. So this could happily be our staff room in here, which is a fairly large staff room, but uh, good enough for all of the people in here. And then we have a canteen, a staff canteen, which is actually of a reasonable size because you've got tables and chairs there and then you've got your five along there for your... Um, for the canteen table. That should be okay. I'm not going to be building down here anyway. I'm going to work from the top down over. And it means that the two main areas, or probably two main areas, will have all of this in. So we'll, we'll assume that... Uh, We'll assume that we've got like enough space and if there's any sort of dead area around here we might put in like a workshop and such as i said most things are going to be centralized in the main the main hall of the uh, cell block but we'll just see how we get on so that is a total of uh 60 uh, sorry 76 76 so we could we could in theory go for half um problem with that is having Having that, we won't have any gap. And it's also a lot larger than I originally envisaged. But it just means more prisoners, doesn't it? So, uh, 38 to there, 39 to there. Uh, well, yeah, I, I, well, it is actually technically correct because that was where it would be. But I measured it slightly wrong. So, I can get rid of one of those. And that'll be now total of 37 but still not gonna be correct 34 because I didn't account for the pathway that would need to go in between it 36 and 35 so the pathway in the middle could be space of one not ideal far from ideal actually um, that's 36, and that's 36 as well. What I will do is, again, I, I'm not really too bothered about these being the same size, really, but, seeing that, it would be nice for the first two to be correct, or to be this size, and then the, this one can be whatever size it needs to be, which is going to be a lot smaller. So... That is 34. That's 36. Oh, it's because it should be there and there. I just removed the wrong section of wall. My mistake. I'll be saying that quite a lot. 35. I think that was 35. Very difficult to see when it's... Yeah, 35. Yep, that's correct. This one, also 35. The other one out of interest, how big would it be? 27. Hmm. I wonder what we could actually fit in. Is it 102? Very difficult to see again. 102? Um. We could. It's a possibility. Let's let's roughly measure it from this side then. Stone said thirty two thirty two thirty four. Thirty-three, 
30, 31, hang on. I don't think whatever we do it's going to be correct. 33, 32, 33. Thirty two. Thirty two. And thirty two. With the gap of three in the middle. I thought it was possible. Let's go with that instead. It works out mathematically. And it means that even though they are the same size for the first two, it'll be interesting to see how different the layout's gonna have to be. Because this one down the bottom here is only going to go to there. Like that. Okay. There's the cells. Or cell blocks, rather. Let's work on the principle that we're going to build one first, because we are. <laughs> um, actually, before that, we need a exports so i'll put an exports just opposite on the other side of the road here it doesn't really matter where it goes but it's going to go in there obviously road gates all the walls and stuff yes we'll get all that at some point that's a future us problem so back to planning so the idea as i said is to have almost everything in this building so off the top of my head what do we need well we need cells and to support the cells and the people in them we need showers we need entertainment, so that would be a common room. We need a kitchen and canteen to feed said inmates. We need... That's technically the needs done. Or a yard as well, they need a yard. That's all of the needs done. And then you have all of the extras. Let's assume they're not going to get extras, and if they don't get extras, they might misbehave. Misbehaving will require a solitary confinement. It will require a... Um, a parole, but th no, that's going to be decentralised. Parole is probably going to be around this area. We could also, if we wanted to, decentralise the um, the security area. So instead of having solitary in here, we could have it elsewhere. That is a possibility. We also need chapels. We need pretty much all of the all of these sort of things. There, we need laundry, uh, chapel. Library, not necessarily. See, library, we could get away with decentralising, and same as the post office. We don't actually have to have the post office there. We can have the post office around here, which is almost certainly going to be around here, because I'm going to cut this right down. Um, okay, right, we got a rough plan. Um, I think I will put uh, some... I don't think I'm going to put the solitary and infirmary down here, because it's just too much to travel. So, let's assume they're going to come in here. Well, we only need one entrance because they almost n will never come out. So we're going to put the entrance there. Because, they, like I said, they're going to spend their time in here. That's the whole point. So, let's have a wall. goes along. Oh, this is always always subject to change. Feedback, as always. Um, so let's work on an idea of this being the kitchen and canteen. In terms of prisoners, we pr actually, we probably need to do that, don't we? Do we need to do that, or do we work the other way? Um, no, cells are quite small, and if we get the basics in, we probably know what size things need to be. So, I will instead, then, uh, work on the principle that this will be things like the um, chapel library, that sort of thing, because those have a set size that we can work off. So, we will extend that, and we can see that we have a chapel. Minimum size 6x6, six six, so we will work on the idea that we will have a 6x6. Six six. So uh, there is our 6x6. Um, six six. I will make it an 8x... I'll make it an 8x10, though. I think that is reasonable. Like that. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Double check the measurements. Done. Because I think we're going to have quite a number of people in here. And chapel always seems to um, be needed... <laughs> So that's that fine. We need. We don't need a library. Don't need a classroom. 
uh, a shop is probably best, 4x4, four four, but I will make it a 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4... Ooh, do we make it a four by four? There's no reason why we couldn't. One, two, three, four. Let's make it a five just to just to ensure that we don't um, have a big issue with the sizing there. Uh, the next one will also be five, and then the next one will be six. Uh, what I'll do, so it'll be chapel shop. Um, chapel shop. Library, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. And a... We could have another reception in here as well. <laughs> Don't think we need one though. And... I'm not going to have a mail room. Mail room's going to be decentralised. We could also decentralise the laundry, so we don't need that. So that could be around here. Because it just means the workers have to push stuff in, which in turn makes things more secure anyway. So we'll have that. I think we'll go on. We'll work on that principle. Um, so this will be whatever room it needs to be. So that's fine. We can handle that. Okay. So we'll have an atrium. So this here will be a security area. Uh, standard four by four. Make that a five by five. Uh, <laughs> no, we probably shouldn't get down a four by four because we don't need it very big. So it's just a standard security room. Uh, is security. 4x4 four four or is it 5x5? Five five? Security is... It is 4x4. Four four. Thought so. So there's your 4x4. Four four. Looks actually tiny, doesn't it, compared to the rest of it, but there you go. There's our security room. So we'll have a... From here, we are going to assume that it's going to be a double walkway everywhere. Alright? So we'll have a double walkway going along. Um, this can come along here. This can go up here. And we will have... Another set of buildings around here. And it will be... Um, oh, that's an interesting thought. Uh, sorry, the thought was about putting twiglet in my ear. Probably not going to do that, though. Uh, I think instead, however, we will go maybe up here and along. Far too large. Also, not really bothered about the sizing, but we might as well we might as well put it like that. And this twelve fifteen. That's correct. Fifteen is the correct size. That's going to be our kitchen. All right. Then the canteen. Is that big enough? I am not convinced it is. But I always oversize these canteens, so let's let's not break tradition. We will definitely oversize this thing. So there's our canteen kitchen. Decent size. Another building to go here. This will be... Hmm. What could it be? It could be infirmary and morgue. Um, the problem with that is we really don't have... Um, decent access. So I'm going to put this in here so that it can go all the way back. To oh no, we're not going to have that. We don't need that at all. Um, but we will have a door there. We'll have a door there. And it means that the staff never need to go into this way. Although, we then do need access to this canteen. Which is the problem. And I can't really connect it because if I do that, it means that they can't walk down the centre. Is that a problem? Not really. Not really. Now that I come to think of it. I'm also thinking of doing this one, building it, and then building the next one, knowing that there'll be some changes to be implemented from here, maybe even a full redesign, and then we can put it in here. So it means that we get sequential building, as we know the requirements and the pitfalls and that sort of thing. So, do we want to do it like that? Let's let's work on the principle that we will have that. Uh, we need a morgue, so we'll have a morgue in here. It's it's quite small, but that's um, totally fine. Um, we probably will just extend that to there, just for the sake of of um, symmetry. Uh, pathways will continue on like so, 
and we need a yard. I will now put a yard around here. So this will go all the way around the yard and there will be, this is where things do get more symmetrical. It won't be a huge yard. Probably that will be fine. Um, that is nowhere near in the center. 12 and 12, I'm guessing. Yes, fine. That can go in there. Those in there. Now, that is... Is that quite bad? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. No, we're fine. If it was within 10 of the far edge, they could fling stuff in, but they can't. So, I am totally fine with that. That's going to be our... Excuse me. That's going to be our area for yard time. What are we missing out on? Haven't got solitary, haven't got showers, haven't got anywhere to put the prisoners. I mean, that's generally an issue when it comes to building a, a prisoner holding facility, but, you know. Um, so how are we going to work this one? We will work it by having a... Do you want a security station here? That would be all kinds of bad. Oh, not necessarily. I mean, solitary. Solitary is easy. It's that. I mean, if you, if you really want to, the bare minimum you need for solitary is that. But do I want to do that? Uh, size 2. Because I don't think we need that many we had previously. Eh, it's going to be odd whatever we do in it. There's no reason why you can't have solitary next to the other prisoners. Punishment's punishment's punishment. It's a bit... It's a bit harsh, though, isn't it? You put someone into punishment that... Well, it depends which way you look at it. You take them out from their cells and then put them in, say, a box in the middle so everybody can look at them. That's, like, you know, humiliation. Or you could go for the whole... Um... The whole sort of take them away and put them elsewhere cooler. You don't get any, you know, you don't talk to anyone. You don't see anybody. Probably going to go for the former because of sizing. So, what we'll have is... This. And this will be showers. Although, it's too small. I want showers all the way along there. All right. I want showers all the way along here, with a gap of two. This is massively oversized. I know it's oversized, so don't worry. I mean, I'm still not going to do anything about it. It's still going to be oversized, but I'm just acknowledging the fact already that this is proper oversized. Uh, because we've already got um, 24, 48, <laughs> 68, 68 showers. It's also not in the center. I will fix that. Do we need that many showers? Almost certainly not. We can always change them to benches. Right, so there's that there. Okay, now what? Well, I think it's time for the cells. So the cells, we will have um, standard 3x2s. What I'm going to have is... And the question is, do I run a pathway around the edge all the way along, or do I not? Uh, it's pretty obvious that we don't, because we'll lose out so much space. So let's just work that to there, and do that. So, working from this side, one, two, three, standard three by twos, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, there we go, nine, ten, eleven, thirteen, ah, no, it wasn't, um, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, for being stupid, I've lost count. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. <sighs> right, 16. That's fine. With one that's slightly different size for reasons. Okay, that's... That's okay, that's fine. I will alter this... To be 3 on that side. Because we do need graded cells. Or rather, we want graded cells. There's no need in that. That was a misused word. 
as he's saying the word plinth. It's a lovely word to say, it's just got no context on the current conversation or what we're doing here. Um, so the reason I've done this is because this can be a slightly higher graded cell. Because all of the graded cells are going to be at the back. So I will have this as a graded cell and I'm going to do that and that. Uh, do I want to do that? Um, no. See that there would be prohibitive, although it would give us the grading that I was looking for, which is slightly higher, but then no, no, let's, let's not do that. Okay, let's just put the cells in on this side. Um, that's too large. There we go. Alright. Yeah, that's gonna do all that. Apart from that, that's not the size. It's that size, right. So there's those cells. So, um, we've got different graded cells. We could have dormitories. Um, that's the end of that chat. We could have had dormitories. We're not having dormitories, but we could have dormitories. I'm actually going to speed up to max speed, and I should have done that a while ago because it's so blum and dark. Although, the high contrast, actually, is planning at night's quite good. It's just in the daytime, uh, planning is actually worse. This is um, easy to see. Uh, so, there's our cells there. So, that's already up 30-odd. Oh, so maybe this is an oversize when we get the rest in. So, we want to have graded cells. And they're going to be graded off from here. And they'll be of a certain size. Do I need it? I think I want them. No, probably three. And regardless of what we do, it's going to be odd. Unless we do that and have slightly longer cells. Bed, TV, shower, or toilet. And slightly higher graded ones. It staggers the grade. It does stagger the grade. So you've got basic ones here. Slightly bigger. Which is 9. And this is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Which I don't think increases the grade. I think grading is has to be over that. But then we do have that. And then we want even higher graded cells. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. I mean, that's the max. That's huge. That's for cell. <laughs> it's actually far too big. Um, but you know what? I think that's fine. I think that's fine. And do I grade it on the other side the same? I think we do grade it on the other side the same. And the reason I'm putting the grading on this side is because they are closer to the wall and the higher grade they are... Ideally, the less chance they really have to escape because they don't want to escape. They've got better surroundings and amenities, but it's not really the reality of the game a lot of the time. So there's them graded cells. And then this big block in the center will be also cells. Now, I am still of the opinion that we can probably do uh, three by twos. Um, although we can't because of this. And I've just realised we don't have a common room. Darn it. Okay, that alters the plan somewhat, doesn't it? I will extend this grading. Oh, do we put the common room in the centre? Hmm. I was thinking of increase. I was thinking of increasing this grading here. Increase the grade like that. Right. There's your different grade. Stupidly large grading, but it's it's grading nonetheless. Um, it means that one of them is just <laughs> this one in the center is huge. It's almost dormitory size. Um, do we have that as a? Do we have that as grading, as a graded cell, or do we have that as common room? I don't know. But it means that. That could be the common room. And then the cells can continue on from there. Which would be something along the lines, but not necessarily exactly like this. Um, 
or maybe exactly like that. Sometimes it just falls together and works out, doesn't it? Not happy about this cell here. Cells are too big. Four by four. It's still 16. That's big enough. It's far. It, yeah, definitely big enough. Let's cut this down then. Grading's far too large. That's better. And then even this one, that's the biggest cell we're going to get. And we can pull, move this along. Move that along. And get some more prisoners. Um, yeah, I messed that up, haven't I? Damn it. I thought, I was looking at this corner and thinking, hang on, there's something wrong. There's something off there. There's something off. Um, so it'll have to be that. So we're not going to have the bit in the centre, but then that does sort of already fix, that fixes our plan of having solitary. We could have solitary there. Hmm. I'm not opposed to that. I'm not opposed to it. Hang on. I was going to say that's off-centre as well, but it's not. It's actually the walls that I haven't put in. Right, okay. Maybe that's where solitary goes. Let's have a quick rundown. Cells, yes. Showers to support, yes. Feed, feed the prisoners, yes and yes. Uh, they also need to have exercise, yes. Entertainment, yes. They need to, or really want to have um, escapes, yes, because we've currently got no walls in it, but obviously we'll be fixing that. We have security area. We have decentralised laundry somewhere here. We have the, in no particular order, the chapel, the shop, Library, uh, power, because I haven't placed power yet. I was going to have power in each one, which is why that can go there. Um, parole, probably should have a, a parole in this area, so maybe change that to parole. Infirmary and such, yes. I mean, it's it's. It's mainly there. Um, we're not having a workshop. We've got security, infirmary, morgue, yes, common room, yes, laundry, no decentralised, cleaning cupboard, not having one, visitation. Knew there was something I forgot. Okay, so we will have to rework it slightly to have visitation in there. Um, we'll put that on the list, which I'm not going to write down and we'll forget. Colonel and Amory are back over here somewhere. Staff room down here again. Forestry not having it. Library up there. Classroom... Oh, probably that actually, wasn't it? Exports, yes. Chapel we mentioned. Parole, we've mentioned we need parole. Reception, we've got. Mail room, we're having down here and shop up there. So, the only thing we really need to do... It's not actually as bad as I thought. So, we need... We need an area for visitation. We need an area for parole. And... Possibly... Alter this so that we have... An area for... An area for solitary, and we haven't got a holding cell yet, and I think a holding cell is probably... I think it's fairly mandatory. So, what I'm probably going to do is shift this entire block over a little bit. So we'll cut some cells off. All of these will move over, and then we'll have enough space to put in another section here. Probably like that, in fact, for visitation. We'll have our power elsewhere, so instead of having power... Um, power in here, we'll have power here and then put it in and that'll increase security anyway. Yeah, there's our tentative plan. That's what we're going to go with. So, that's the idea. As always, I'm open to suggestions, comments, feedback, etc. We will be building this in multiple episodes. It will take quite a while to build and certainly we won't have prisoners for quite a while. We have a total of uh, 20, or oh, sorry, 58,000 generic units of currency, more than enough to Apparently zoom right in there because the game crashed. Um, it stood for a moment there. Um, I guess we'll zoom ahead and get really the two grants done. 
Administration Centre and Basic Detention Centre. So we'll leave it there. Next episode, we'll crack on, see if we can get the Administration Centre done. Then we'll go for all of the grants we can, and then we will at least put the plot of land down. But because this is a huge lump of concrete, it's going to take quite a while. But we'll see how it goes. As always, hope you have enjoyed the video. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings. And so it begins.